Hello Capricorn and welcome to my channel World and Wonders Tarot. This is your about last night reading where I take a look at your romantic situation and try to determine what's going on. Today I'm using the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck along with the Double Major Tarot deck and as you can see I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position so let's get started Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, today this card represents the overall energy between you and your person. These cards represent your person, and I have an advice card here for you. All right, so the overall energy of your situation today with your person is love begins. So this is um, about a new beginning, all right? New love coming in. It, um, it hasn't gotten off the ground yet, but it might have potential. This is someone that... Um, you know you're clearly attracted to or someone who's attracted to you but it's a new beginning okay so it could be a brand new love or a new beginning with someone else all right so we're going to look at the first two cards these two cards represent your person's thoughts and feelings about this connection so they have the magician which is um this comes from the double major tarot deck it has two versions of the major arcana cards and the minor or excuse me and the court cards so this is the second version of the magician in that deck. So your person has the magician and the fool. So when I was laying these cards down, honestly, Capricorn, I, I got a feeling of someone coming back. I feel like someone left out of this connection or you had a connection with someone. Not sure if you, you know, actually truly uh, were officially a couple, but I feel like this person walked away from this connection and they're coming back. They're coming back because whatever that, you know, whoever they were with, the grass wasn't greener on the other side type of situation, okay? I feel like they're bored with their situation, whatever happened, um, and they're coming back toward you. I, when I look at this, I know that he's leaving, but I feel like the way they were laying down is that like he's returning, he's returning, okay? So this is someone who's very bold and brazen, of course, to have the nerve to come back. But again, I don't know if it was a breakup um, or just simply this is something that just didn't get off the ground, okay? And now this person is bored and they want to come back toward you, okay? Let me get this over here. Yep. Excuse me. All right, so the next two cards are uh, represent this person's intentions toward you. So they have the death card. They have the second version of the death card along with the page of cups. So what I'm feeling is, again, I feel like this person walked away from this connection um, at one point and this person's been gone for some time. This is the magician here because it's the same robe and everything. So I feel like this, this is something this person was just gone for a long time. This connection was dead. Um, maybe even you could have broken up with this person, okay? Because this is, the magician is the one who's laid out on the ground, okay? So this is something that's been gone for a long time again it's you've broken up with this person or maybe haven't seen this person whatever connection you had uh, in the past it's been dead for for quite some time and this person wants to bring it back to life with this page of cups this person wants to you know offer you their cup of love this person wants to come in and hope they hope that you will give them another chance that they want it to start up it's the page so slowly they want you to slow they want to maybe slowly date you you know just take it slow um, that type of um, energy that I'm feeling, okay? This is what they want. They want to bring this connection back to life. All right, so let's see what's preventing this connection from moving forward. That's what these two cards represent. All right, so you have judgment and the page of pentacles. So judgment, I feel like, obviously, this is about resurrection. So uh, judgment is a card of resurrection. Okay, so what's blocking this connection is, you know, you're kind of hesitant about taking this person back, okay? And judgment is also about, you know, evaluating things that happen and trying to make a decision based upon that. So I feel like you're still judging this person based upon how they treated you in the past. You are not willing to start this new connection. Page of Pentacles is about a new, starting new, trying to build um, a life with someone, someone who you feel like you can get married to, someone who you can buy a home with, have children with, you know, a strong, solid foundation. I feel like you don't feel that way when it comes to this person. So these two cards are in the block position. So you're, you're, you don't, you're, you're not forgetting what this person did to you in the past. 
um, you're not really ready to make that decision as far as whether you want to let this person back in. And uh, you certainly are not ready to start, you know, a family with this person or get married or you're just not in that, in that mindset about this person. Again, when I go back to this fool, the fool can be narcissistic, a selfish person, okay? This fool is going to do whatever they want to do. I feel like this person has this smug personality, like really to be bold and brave to come back because, oh, I'm bored. Let me go back and see what Capricorn is doing. It's that type of energy. Uh, the bottom of the deck for your person is the second version of the Justice card. So that means that this person knows that you haven't made a mistake. This this um, this um or this person on this card, they're blindfolded and then they have their sword is down. Okay, so they really don't know what to do. This is a major decision. This person doesn't want to make the wrong decision. Okay, Justice always wants to make the correct decision. So um, this person knows that, you know, that you haven't made your decision yet and so they're not sure uh, where you're coming from your advice card is uh, financial and material changes so this is about in traditional tarot decks this is the five of pentacles so i really do feel like this person left out of this connection before kind of left you high and dry and this is uh you know encouraging you to take a look at the past don't make the same mistakes that you made in the past. Whatever happened in the past is a learning, it's a learning uh, situation for you, okay? You have what you, you have enough. You don't need, you know, anyone else or you don't need this person. Or if you do need something, there's other people out there for you. So just, you know, make sure you're, you're making the best decision when it comes to this person. Um, but, you know, a big message in that card is learn from the past, past mistakes. At least when it comes, this comes from the uh, Psychic Tarot Oracle deck as well. So that's what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. Someone's going to try to come back into your life. Mm -hmm. This little arrogant person here. I'm bored. I'm bored. Now I want uh, Capricorn back. This person's going to try to come back into your life, Capricorn. And they want to. They want a resurrection. We see that. This is the res resurrection card. And we see that things are dead. So yeah, they want to bring it all back to life. Will you let them do that? That's up to you. Okay. I don't judge on my channel. All right. So that's what I'm seeing, Capricorn. So I do wish you the best of luck when it comes to the situation. Um, I want to say thank you for stopping by and watching my video. And have a wonderful day.